Yo, welcome back to a brand new video. Yo, Brittany Renner is back again. Like, I don't know. I don't know what happened to her. Like, she, she seems to, like, disappear for a while and then she comes back. Or maybe she's just always on and I'm not paying attention. I don't know. But she's back doing these podcasts. She's People just keep inviting her. Different podcasters keep inviting her to the show. I, don't, I really don't know why, like, why these dudes keep giving her a platform. Uh, some females, too. I think she's doing some 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 other podcast with some females why don't she just get her own show get her own podcast like why people just keep giving her a voice now i wouldn't have a problem with her if she didn't if she didn't rise to fame like she did she could have like back in 2000 like 15 maybe 16 something like that i used to i used to follow her page because she was like a fitness chick you know she was just like kind of like motivational, you know, doing her own, doing her own thing, man. Of course she had a, she's pretty, she had a nice body, but, and then she just flew off the deep end, like around like 2017, like the next year, 2017, 18 or something like that. She just threw off. She's just like, I guess the fame just got to her head, man. But, and what comes with that, what, whatever happened in that, at that time frame, it's affecting her life now. In this time frame, now she has a she has a baby by an NBA player. I forget his name. Um, so now she's a baby mama. You know what I'm saying? She should have just stuck with the dude that she was with. You know, she actually should have just stuck with the dude she was with in college. But that's another story, man. But now she's on the Shay Shay show or whatever, and uh, he's giving her a chance to, you know, exp you know. Tell her her side of the story or just tell her story. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Um, I think that Shannon Sharp does a really good job of um, interviewing her as far as, you know, what what was her past life or how did she become who she is to, you know, today? So I think he does a really good job of asking those questions and seeing where she where she actually came from, which is which is important to understand why she is how she is now. So what was what was Brittany Renner's childhood like? We're just getting straight to it. Another mm -hmm. shot or no? Okay, we're just going <laughs> diving right in. Yeah, because I I would because I I want I want to set this up because I want to see how were you like this to there. I want to know the transformation that you went through, the metamorphosis that you went through in order to become what we see sitting here today. <clears throat> All right. Well, I was raised by my grandparents mm -hmm. from about nine years old up. Okay. There was a lot of family history that was very uh, peculiar, I guess I can say, for lack of better words. So I was raised by my grandparents. I'm biracial, half black, mama white, daddy right. black, so that right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I was raised by my in mom. Mississippi. That happened. That happened in Ohio. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So, um, so I originally lived in Ohio. We moved down to Mississippi. I lived with my grandparents. My grandparents white on my mom's side. Grew up very whitewashed, very sheltered. Um, soccer was my life mm -hmm. from fourth grade up, and I would say that. Um, I was just always been very sensitive to things. I've always wondered like, why am I wired this way? Why do I look at the world the way that I do? I wish I could turn off the feeling aspects. So I've always been a very deep feeler, mm -hmm. a deep thinker, even as a young person. So I would just say like sheltered, whitewashed, very strict, dinner at 5.30, you can have a snack at uh, eight o'clock, bed, nine, very strict. When you say you was reared by your grandparents, what transpired that? Your, you know, you work with your mom and dad. So my dad, um, he was an alcoholic. Okay. He's been sober for 12 years now, right. so shout out to him. Right. Um, so he was going that's, through that's that very important. Up, you know, during that time. My mom, there were things I didn't know, at, like, growing up when I was going through that. But mm -hmm. my mom, basically my grandma was like, you're not stable. I'm going to just go ahead and raise them. Right. So she just kind of took us from yes, my mom. Yes, yes, So she just that's took That's a southern up, thing. Yeah, well, and she, yeah, that's, so that's what she did. Um, so it wasn't really fair to my mom, but it was probably what was, I mean, it was what's best for us. That's what happened. So, you know, they gave us that stability and that structure that we really needed as kids. Okay, so what the relationship. All right, so as you can see, her grandparents raised her. Um, 
you know, nothing against grandparents raising their grandkids. Um, that's not, it's not going to always turn out, you know, bad. It's not going to always turn out good. It doesn't, it doesn't really, um, there's no right or wrong thing with grandparents, you know. Uh, I think her grandparents, they did the best that they could with her, but it's really not their job to be raising their grandkids, you know, but they, of course, they're going to help their grandkids, right? The important thing is the father, the father figure that he was an alcoholic and I believe he went to prison too as well. So she kind of lacked that father figure. Maybe her grandfather was there. They don't really kind of go into details if her grandfather was there and I, she doesn't really talk about him like that. But, um, my whole point is that the father figure is a very important thing that um, that is goes unnoticed sometimes, and um, so you just you, you really got to pay attention to that. Was there any resentment that your grandmother took you from? I mean, I don't want to sound harsh, but well, she's that, dead. It was that resentment growing up that you're with your grandmother and your mom is over here and you're not with her. Was there any resentment on either side? Your mom let this happen or your grandma made this happen? Well, I didn't have this awareness as a child. When I was about 26 years old, I kind of got the full story as to how everything transpired and why things were the way that they were okay. and some of our family secrets as well. But no, I think there was always that longing to, you know, that I called it the burden of unconditional love. Right. Where I yearned for my mom just like I yearned for my dad when my dad was in jail I used to write in letters so there was always that long you see what I'm saying? for my actual parents and mm -hmm. it was hard of course. to my grandparents at times because they were so old school they couldn't they didn't really understand a lot of things and they had such a tight leash on us you know mm -hmm. yeah they're doing the best they can is it because it was <laughs> such a tight leash mm. I mean, I didn't really do anything. Well, it sounds crazy now. I was just, you know, eighth grade drinking hypnotic, you know, right. sneaking out, right. TPing houses, uh, just normal stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to, I was very curious. I'm a very curious person. So yeah, I just wanted a little bit of room to breathe right. and we weren't really given that. Did you understand that you were different? Yeah, so, you know, a father figure is kind of going to, he's going to kill a lot of those curiosities and, and, make decisions for you to where you're you're not allowed to make those your those all those decisions if that makes sense you know what i'm saying i remember myself and my sister growing up it was the same way you know you know my sister had curiosities but my dad would kill that you know he would just you could figure that all those curiosities you have you could figure that out when you've grown but for from right now when you in my house you're going to play by my rules and you're going to do what i tell you to do and that's it, you know, and the same with me, you know, I got a little bit more leeway as because I'm the youngest, but, and his teachings are different for me. He's teaching me how to be a man versus my sister. He's teaching her or he's showing her, you know, how to find a good man. You know what I'm saying? Like by being a good example of, of what a man is so that she doesn't have those thoughts like, you know, what's this guy like or what she already knows what she's kind of looking for. She doesn't know it, but that's that's her model of a man is my dad. So let's fast forward a little bit. I think she talks a little bit more about her childhood. The yearning for affection from your dad or something. Did you, were you missing something that you was willing to accept that over nothing? I would say, I mean... You know, looking back, of course, you know, I, I would say that's where it started. And I have a great relationship with my father now. I have very healthy male relationships in my life. And because I have that now, I do view men as a whole very differently. I move uh, even with dating very differently because I have these healthy bonds with men, you know, mm -hmm. these platonic relationships with men, these, fam these family bonds with men. Yeah, so, yeah, I think then I was just searching for that and i thought the answer was outside of me i thought it was going to be solved with a man so that's how i got myself in a bit of a pickle but that's why i left jackson state i was in love so when i quit so you left when he left or yeah because he <laughs> i know he's like girl don't talk about me 
But well, yeah. you didn't tell his he, name, so. But yeah, I'm assuming true. most people know who he is. Yeah, the, well, yeah, and who gives a fuck, fuck him? But <laughs> yeah, it'd be 50 50 with me. I'm like, I don't want to fuck him. Yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I, had, I played two seasons. She's talking about Jackson Casey. State, mm -hmm. And I left after that. The quarterback from Jackson me, State. I go into to the draft, and I was like, well, I love you, and I don't want to be without you. So I'm leaving school. So you gave up your potentially your career mm -hmm. in order to be with him while he pursued his career. Yeah. So how after he left after That's very left, normal to do. You dropped out of Jackson State. Mm -hmm. How long were you together with him after that? Well, I left in was it the end of 2011? We broke up uh, the summer of 2014. That's when I moved to LA. Mhm. Mm so y'all were together for a minute. Yeah, he's the reason I got into fitness, got my body together. He taught me everything I know about fitness. I can go into the gym and I know how to navigate, do what I need to do uh -huh. to, to, to get it done. So he taught me a lot about business, fitness, and we made a lot of money together. Right. You know, so that's why he was still a very important piece in that puzzle. Yeah. Did you, once you got... So look, even, even without a father figure, you know, in, or without her father, um... She was able to find a good man in college. She was able to find a good guy. And um, she probably should have stuck with that. She probably should have stuck with that guy and, and just made it work with him. Um, the stories that she... T she doesn't really go into a lot of detail about what happened with them. And neither does he. He's not like on social media like that. Um, but I believe... I, I believe... And uh, it's not facts, but I believe things got weird with them when she started getting more popular and, you know, the uh, fame started getting to her and it, it just became too much for him. She claims it was his insecurities, but it that has nothing to do with insecurity. If you're entertaining, like if if you're entertaining people's conversations over Instagram and this is Instagram is getting popping now. You know what I'm saying? Back then, it was already kind of popping, but she became more popular. If you're entertaining all these dudes, and um, it's one thing to get the attention, but to entertain it is another thing. You know, and a lot of guys don't want to deal with that. They don't want to deal with um, you entertaining other dudes. I mean, it's just that's that's just normal behavior for a dude. It has nothing to do with him being insecure. All right, now she's she's gonna talk about like how what happened once she moved to L.A. Um, and how she you basically became famous and how she started making money. I just took classes so I could play soccer. So you majored in eligibility. <laughs> so basically, I just want to stay on the soccer team. Yes, absolutely. So when you get to L.A., so what did you? Okay, because you say your your, your ex he he taught you fitness, he taught you how. Yeah, to so make, I had a big following. Okay. So that's what you were gonna be. I didn't have a plan. I just came out here like, I'm beautiful, I'm young, I got all these followers, there's two other girls in the bunk, get bunk beds that were all here. I don't know what we're chasing, but we're here. Right. Brand deals, like that's how I was getting money, was brand deals. Right. So it's like you can, I mean, I was 22 when I moved here. Right. So I was moving around, spending money, being able to do what right. I wanted to do because I was getting money from brand deals. Yep. So you, that's how I was make, making my way. When did you realize you was like that? When I was like that? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. When you was like famous, like now I'm famous. I don't even know what was like that aha moment because I feel like I had a lot of access at a very young age right. to people that I never thought would know my name. Right. So it was kind of like living in Disneyland. I'm like. Oh my God, like I couldn't get enough. So I don't know, probably what I'm saying? to LA, just being 22, 23. And mm -hmm. because uh, Coach Prime, you know Coach Prime was a former coach at Jackson State. He had you speaking to his guys and you said that I've got more checks in my DM than Nike. Mm -hmm. So is that how it started? That's when you knew like, damn, man, look at my inbox, my inbox running over. Yep. I mean, I think that was definitely a part of it. I think just being able to literally and figuratively skip the line and get paid to do, like stand in front of a movie poster and post it on your page. It right. was it was quick money. Like it, 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 I don't know. It, it was the access. It was the money. It was 
the men. I mean, again, people like to judge. It was the men. Well, yeah. I mean, I like what well, I like. My love men. That's yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah I mean, you I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I'm being patient for my husband. I mean, I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs, licking the bean, just waiting on a real man. You know. Waiting on a real man. A real man. <laughs> Give me Brittany Renner's idea of a if 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 someone says okay. Draw your real man, and then give me the attributes in which you want him to possess. Okay, let me pull up the parchment. Yeah, let's hit a long list that women have for so men. First things first, honest. Okay. He's honest. He's adventurous. Mm -hmm. He's affectionate. Mm -hmm. That's something not a lot of people are naturally. Mm -hmm. He is respectful. Mm -hmm. He is curious about the life around him, and he's committed to himself. I would say those are probably the core values that I'm thinking of. Someone who is, um, that believes in true love. True love. Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking for. Storybook, rope. I mean, if, if, if. This is, yeah, this is a, this is a fantasy for all women. All, all women have the same fucking list. They all got the same list of what they want in a man. You know what I'm saying? This, but there's a lot of these type of men out there. She could have. There's a bunch of men like this out there. A bunch of men. But she's forgetting about the thing. The other things that she wants. In a man that she doesn't talk about. Because it makes her look. It'll make her look bad if she says. He needs to be. Finance. You know he needs to be making more money than me. Because women date up. They don't date down right. So he needs to be better than me. In pretty much everything. So he needs to have more money than me. He needs to be, you know, he needs to have more attention than her. Because she's already said plenty of times she doesn't want no regular guy. But regular guys have or normal guys have these attributes that you're looking for. There's a bunch of successful men who are who have respect, who believe in God, believe in true love, who are honest, um, patient. You know, all the stuff that she requires in a man. But is she going to choose them? No, because she's not even going to look their way. She doesn't even look these guys way unless they have the attention, the spotlight on them. How is she going to meet this guy? Just some random guy on the street's going to come up to her and she's going to be like, all right, yeah, he has all the qualities that I want. It's not going to happen. True love, is it something that you've read or is it something that you've experienced and you know what it's like? I can't say that I've ever experienced it necessarily just because I feel that I would be with that person, but it's always something that's been on my heart. And if it was put on my heart, it was for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's because it exists. Just like you're able to manifest the way that you are because it's put on there for you to mm -hmm. materialize. Right. Same here. I think a lot of people think that it's not going to happen for me because of the way that I carry myself or different versions of me that they're stuck on but it's on my heart for a reason. That's why I've had to experience the flip side of the coin, the darker side of the coin, where I've had a lot of heartbreak and disappointments because how else would I appreciate true love when right. it comes to me? Because I've had everything come to me so easy, even with soccer. Right. I didn't have to practice. I was good. I'm good, good, great. I mean, that's just what it was. I didn't have to. That, that's what it was. So it's like when you don't know the value of anything because things come to you so naturally because you're beautiful, because your body, the followers, the social media, the notoriety, you don't value shit. Right. So that's why I think for me. This, so you didn't have an appreciation of anything? No. Because I could get whatever I want. So going through some of the stuff I went through the last couple of years, I've really got to see what I've made of. That's a really important thing that she just said. And I'm actually glad that she realized that um, people who get things very easy which are a lot of women okay people that get things very easy have no respect for basically anything they don't understand they don't understand or value anything because things come to them so easy now when you're a man a lot of times you don't have that you don't have that option because things do not come to you easy. It's different if you're born, if you're one of those guys that are born into money, that is totally different. If you're if you're the prince of Zamunda or something like that, like coming to America, that's totally different. That's but that's not normal people's lives. But the prince of Zamunda is like the equivalent to a regular chick in real life. Like 
know what I'm saying? Especially one that has good looks. If you have good looks, you could pretty much, and you're a woman, you could pretty much get anything that you want. You can get anything that you want if you use your looks because that is your currency as a woman. A lot of times that is your currency as a woman. You could get a lot of things just by looking good. And you could see just what she just said. She just said it. Like she didn't value anything because things came to her so easy. Now, soccer was is different. She was probably just talented with soccer. She was very good. It came back. That was a sport that came to her naturally. That's different. That came to her easy. But followers, um, her body, uh, she probably worked for that. You know, she she worked out. You know, she was a fitness person. Um, the looks, the follow, all that stuff just came to her easy. So she has no, she doesn't have any, um, pretty much any respect for anything. And now as you get older, as a woman gets older, she starts, she could start, you know, decreasing her, her value. If she doesn't, you know, keep up with her looks, if she, um, becomes a baby mama, you know what I'm saying? Like these are things that are bringing your value down because men don't really want to deal with a lot of those problems when they could just deal with somebody who doesn't have those problems or not problems, but who just doesn't have those, those things that, that they don't want to be attached to. When you were at Jackson state, were you in a sorority? No, my grades weren't good enough. <laughs> Damn, Britt. Did, I mean, so you, you were just, at, you were just at college kicking it. I mean, I wouldn't even say, Basically. well, I was shocked up. I was playing, like, like house. You were shocked up in college? Mm-hmm. In the Palace days. People are Jackson out there. Right, that is. Palace days. Mm-hmm. Playing house. Mm-hmm. Your grandmother would be so disappointed. I mean, she was alive when that happened. And what was she going to do? Nothing. <laughs> but I'm saying I bet your daddy would have did something. Disappointed because she's going to say, Brittany, I, I raised you better than that. Or at least I thought I did. Honestly, never mind. No, no, go ahead. No, no, no. Honesty. Honesty is the key. Honesty is the best I'm not policy. Even, I don't really. My grandma said she never stuck. So I'm not even really looking oh, to Lord, take Come on. She don't. You gonna put she granny, ain't experienced life. You going to put granny out there like that? Truth is truth. So I'm not really listening to her. When you, <laughs> I remember Let's when, I'm trying to think, I don't know if you said it on a, a, a radio show or a TV show about your dating problem. You was with one man, two men, three men, four men over the course of a 24 hour, 48 hour span. <laughs> Did you think about the ramifications of how people, men, women, everybody would look at you because or does that not bother you? Or you learn to tune that out? So you're referring to one instance, or I can actually recall it, pinpoint it perfect for you. There was a video that I did in my car where I was talking about how I had sex with, was it three men in a, a day? Yes. And then I ended up getting a yeast, yeast infection. infection. Yes. That was, I came out pretty unscathed for just a yeast infection, right. considering what I could have gotten. Right. Um, it wasn't that, you know, well, oh man, I hope people don't. Kid out of it. I mean, they talk oh, about I was, I was always, I was on birth control. All right, so this is the meat and potatoes of what everybody's really kind of like uh, doing their videos on is when she starts talking about uh, basically how she slept with all these men and how she's, this is pretty much how she got to where she's at now. Actually, no, that's not how she got to where she's at now. I believe this is where she totally fucked up. Like she should have never, if she was doing this type of behavior, she should have just kept that. To herself but she was she got so curious with dealing with these famous dudes and then wants to write a book about it she wanted to be like the modern day superhead and you, you know what the saying is curiosity killed the cat right and this basically just killed her her or her like innocence in a in a sense her innocence in a sense you know what i'm saying like because men don't want to be with a woman who is like this or who was like that. She may not be like that now, but your past is important. Dudes, look for your look up your past. And if it's searchable, then it's like, man, I don't want to deal with that, man. I don't because now they're now you're embarrassing him. You know what I'm saying? Dudes don't want to be embarrassed when they're with a woman. Especially dudes that have status. I got off of it because there was a conversation
between my child's father. Okay. So I, I, again, the whole trapping thing, can't trap the willing babe. And on top of that, I never wanted to have a, I look at kids as you never wanted to be a, You never wanted a baby daddy. You wanted to be a mom. You didn't want to yes. be a baby mama. You wanted to be a and wife. That's why I waited so long. I had my baby when I was 29. I thought I was doing it right. I thought that was my guy. And I, and I never really liked kids. I always thought I referred to them as crotch goblins, to be honest. <laughs> you know, but as I got older, I wanted one. But, did you, but, did, but did you think Did that, I think about the ramifications yes. of telling people that I had sex with multiple men? Yes. I don't care. It's the truth. If you don't, if you don't see me as a potential dating person, then great. One less heart to break. Leave me alone, and I'm going to continue to live but my you, truth. But, but you do understand, Brittany, that's hard for men. Look, like you said, public versus private. Now, if you and I having a conversation, and we're, you're sitting up here, we have a conversation, and you say, well, Shannon, I slept with this many men. Okay, that's one thing. That's between you and I. But to mm -hmm. have that conversation, and then everybody, Sam, John, and everybody else knows it, that's a whole different, that's a whole different, that's a whole different ball game, Brittany. That's fine with me. I mean, I feel that. But see, that's selfish because all you're thinking about is you. What about yeah. him? He has got to be with you. He has got to be with me? No, what I'm saying. He has the privilege to be with me. <laughs> okay. Because you know how many women you've slept with? Brent, that's. Do you know how many women you've slept that, with? I'm yes doing, or no? I'm doing the interview. Do you know how many women you've slept yes. with? Yes. Double digits? Triple digits. <sighs> Here we go, sitting back in this position. Double or you can't compare yourself to a man. I'm the interviewer. You're the interviewer. I can't ask any You're questions. the female. You can ask questions. Okay, so how, when when how you have you... your podcast, invite me on and you and I have this conversation, okay? Now, back to our originally normal scheduled program. <laughs> you do understand that a man pride his woman to not look, I don't, I don't have any I don't have any problem, you know. Three bodies, four bodies, five bodies, ten bodies. That, 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 what you did before me, as long as you, I mean, I mean you, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty lenient because I've kind of, you know, lawyers, uh, uh, doctors, uh, exotic dancers, yeah. So you, you love what, you know, you love what you love. Wow. But, okay. but it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, hard, it's a, a high bar to hurdle. If she makes things that she's done public, I think you understand what I'm saying. I believe that the average person is below average. So the average man is most likely not going to. But you're not going to be can interested I, in no average man. You like I, what you like. But can Stop I, it. And I never, exactly. I never argued with you on that. <laughs> what, you didn't let me finish my thought. Go ahead. Let me. Okay. And then. Okay. And then we. Right. Okay. What I'm saying is, is that the average guy would tell you that I'm not wife material that's fine because i don't want to be with the average man the man that i want is someone who is understanding of that and if that's asking for too much from the male species then i i must be better off alone then i don't think i'm asking for the impossible you literally just said that exotic dancers lawyers whoever you love who you love right who you're drawn to is who, who right. you're drawn to the average person is not going to want to make that make that jump and that's okay because i'm not talking to them I don't need anybody average. I'm not average. There's nothing about my mentality that's average. I don't carry myself as average. I don't look average. I'm not mundane and forgettable. Just like, I, I stand for something. I get so much flack because there's this little box and people want me to just like suck, whoa, shut up, whoa, make an OnlyFans. Let me finish though. They want me to go over here and just admit that I'm a gold digger, that I trap guys and that I only care about money. But because I go so hard about true love, it's a mother but you can understand that you say because I like sex, like you. Whoa, Brit, Brit. Because I like sex. Like because you. I'm curious. We're mic'd up and we got boom. Mic, I don't give. You not a man. I don't care. But I'm saying you can understand why people will find that hard about true love because they're looking at it. True love is not what you look, but what you're saying, what you're selling doesn't seem what, like what true love. What am I to selling? Them. What am I selling? Well, I mean, when you go on and you in your car and you say, "Well, I had sex with three men." That was a, back in 2018, okay, okay, okay. by the way. Go ahead. All right, I mean, you're up. No man, no woman can outrun their past because all it does it makes you tired when it catches up with you. So yep. what you did in exactly. 2018, people still know about it in 2023. Exactly. So this notion that you said, well, it happened five years ago. It happened 10 years ago. People have what they call the internet. People have what they call memory. Mm. Good. 
<laughs> Don't ever forget it. Just know when you try this, yeah. It ain't oh, even about that. Oh, no, God. Honestly, though, I don't want people to forget. I don't want my, I don't, be, I don't believe you can delete your wholeness. I don't want to. I don't, I wouldn't trade, like, I would you should not want to. a clean slate today. Because you, you should. Why? This whole journey for me has been learning. Yes. So if I'm but it could have been avoided. For the way that I learned, then so be it. I don't need you guys to forget anything. I don't want you to, quite frankly, keep bringing it up. Keep talking about it. Because there's so many people that are so curious about me in private. But right. they don't have the balls to try it in public. And that's fine. You're not for me. I don't need a guy that's going to keep my record of wrongs. I thought that's what the Bible said. That's oh, God. Favorite little... I don't, I'm just saying, I don't judge. I'm not here. Don't to, keep no record of wrong. No, but I'm. It's one, one thing I hate, man, is when chicks try to bring up the Bible and religion when it suits them best. You are, don't, don't try to act like you're all religious now and bringing up the Bible. Like, like, it, it, like people are just, oh, you know what? She's right, man. The Bible did say this, that, and the other, and. No, you want to think about the Bible in 2016, 18. You want to talk about the Bible then. And I'm not saying people can't change, but like Shannon was saying, that that your past always catches up to you. And especially if it's a female who has acted like a slut her her entire young young adulthood, and now she comes to the present of she's in her 30s and she's looking for a man. She People are supposed to forget that. Men are supposed to forget that. They don't forget it. They don't forget what you said. They don't forget the book you wrote. You wrote a book. And then you keep trying to compare yourself to a man as if as if what a man does sexually is the same thing as what a woman does sexually. It's not the same at all. Men and women do not have sex for the same reasons. Women usually have sex because they find a connection with a man and they, you know, they're 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 allowing this man to conquer them. Right. At Whereas a man has sex. That's like shaking someone's hand. That's how not important it is to a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just something to do. It's just something to release themselves. It's not even you don't even have to like that person to have sex with them. You don't have to have any type of feelings with a female that you have sex with, you could just do it with, with no, you know what I'm saying? Like no tie, no, no love. No, I don't even like her. I don't even, it's just so different for women when they have sex with a man, there's feelings and emotions involved when they have sex with a man. Men don't do that. That's why men can have a lot of women. You, you're asking him how many men, how many uh, females that he slept with. It don't matter. It don't matter to the next woman. If he has a hundred bodies compared to a, a female that has that has a hundred bodies, he's valued more because that means he could get women. Oh, he's he he can sleep with a lot of uh, women. That's very hard to do. It's very hard for a man to sleep with a woman. It's difficult. So when you meet a man who has been with a lot of women, you're saying, "Hey, man, that's that's a difficult task to do." I'm gonna value. I value that. You may not like it. You know, depending on the woman, she may not like it, but it was hard. It's hard. It's difficult for a man to sleep with women. Brittany said it herself. She said, you don't value things when things come easy to you. Women can sleep with any man they want at any time. Why would she, why would someone, why would she value that? She said she had sex with 35 dudes. That's not a valuable thing. That's not a good thing. No one cares. That's easy. That's easy money for her. She could have sex with a thousand dudes in one year. I mean, she could do that easily. Can a man do that? No. Say, look. Don't fault me for doing the best I could with the awareness I had. Right. So if a man doesn't understand that, because you just said a few minutes ago. Yes. A man can make that jump. Will he most likely? Probably not. Right. But guess what? Who's for but me? He's not for this. Let me finish okay who's for me yes who god creator source universe whatever you want to call it who god designed for me none of that matters so i don't care about all these people yapping about what i'm not going to get because if i wasn't going to get it it wouldn't be on my heart if i wasn't going to get it i would not have been i would not be experiencing the dark side of this coin 
And that's why the world will bear witness to true love. <laughs> and they will become my footstool. And they will have to see this woman. This is my, this is my whole... The fuck is she talking about? I'm going to tell the truth and still get everything I want. And they're going to watch me. I don't have to play by your guys' rules. I do my way. You do things your way. Mm -hmm. And, that, and it, honestly, it varies hour to hour. Are, I didn't know who I was going to be when I came into this interview. Are you okay with the way it's played out thus far? Absolutely. I'm at peace with it. There's nothing I could have done differently. I'm not oh, there's a lot you could have done differently. Stop mm -hmm. saying that there's nothing you could have done differently. Stop it. This is the way I was meant to do it. I don't question fate. I don't question. I accept my fate. I accept my destiny. So if that means that it takes me 10 years for my Mr. Wonderful to come, then that's fine. I'm patient. Yeah, so we'll 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 cut her off right there, man. I mean, I think y'all get the point. Um just a couple things, man, a few things. Um she's delusional, you know what I'm saying? She ha she said this part too where people just want her to suck dick and shut the fuck up and start an only fans and at this point man i mean i don't even want her to suck dick and start an only fans i just want her to shut the fuck up like you know what i'm saying just stop with the complaining man like she just complains all the time man like i you know i want true love i want a man i want this that and the other and it's just like yo cry me a river man like who <laughs> Just why are you going to all these pot? Start your own podcast, man. Why do people keep inviting her and letting her um, tell her sob story about how she used to be a slut and you know she doesn't regret it? And that's the that's one of the problems. You don't even regret what you did, how you were. I understand if you're at peace with it, but you should probably regret how you were. I mean, if you bang three dudes in one day, you consciously did that on purpose like that's not normal for someone who looking who believes in true love that's not normal for someone to to do that for a female to do that it's, it is normal for a guy to do it to just see how many girls he can bang in one day i mean that's like a challenge to them but it shouldn't be a challenge to a female because that's not challenging you get what i'm saying that's not even a challenge for you that's challenging for a man to do especially when he has no status she has that she had status when she did that and she still did it like that's just fucking weird you know what i'm saying so you man you guys gotta be a uh you know aware of these type of women that are out there you know um it's just you just have to be aware of these these type of women man and um for her Sometimes I feel bad for her, but then when she starts talking and I just don't, I don't feel bad for her because she doesn't even feel bad for herself. She thinks that she did nothing wrong and everything's all good, you know, and that's, that's, that's the problem. That's the problem with her. And she believes that she still deserves this elite man when she, when her lifestyle doesn't really match up with that. She doesn't even regret what she did. And she, she says she doesn't want an average man what 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 makes you what makes you, an average all right this is how it goes i'm gonna give y'all a quick analogy of how it works so let's say there's this mountain right let's say there's a mountain it's the top of the mountain it's the bottom of the mountain men are born boys are born at the bottom of the mountain all the time this is where this is where we start this is where men start at the bottom of the mountain women girls are born at the top of the mountain that's where they that's where they're born and as they get older they start to plummet women start to fall off that mountain and go further and further down the mountain for multiple reasons you know um getting older um having children um now these are i mean like having children out of like wedlock and shit like you're single and you have children you start falling down this mountain right um other things too attitude problems looks you don't you know you you don't look as good as the as the as the other women on the top of the mountain you start so you start going down 
this is as you start growing up right men the boys they always start at the bottom as they get older they start becoming more successful they start looking more attractive they start um, earning more money they start uh, learning how to communicate better they start moving up the mountain so that's how it's going the men are getting older they're getting more attributes they're moving up they're moving up the girls are getting older they're getting more attributes they moving down they're moving down and sometimes you pass those you you pass them so when the man actually gets to the top of the mountain what is up there the younger women the women with no children the women um um not necessarily like successful but just the, the women that have good attitudes um some yeah some women are successful you know financially or they have a good thing going on for themselves at least they're earning some type of income um they just have uh, family oriented attributes those type of women are up there at the top so these guys are like in their 30s some of them in the 40s 50s they're all at the top of the mountain they're still at the top and they come they stay they pretty much stay there as long as their earnings are up there and all that all their attributes are still rising they stay at the top of the mountain while these other women are just plummeting down so as she's plummeting down she still thinks she deserves a man at the top of the mountain she thinks that she still should have the dude at the top you don't get to get those guys you don't you don't actually deserve them anymore now you don't you don't get to have those guys anymore you need to start looking at the guys that are in the middle of the mountain now those guys that are pretty much at your level that's the guys you need to start looking for i'm not saying you got to go all the way down to the guys that are like below average or whatever but you're you can't get the guy at the top of the mountain anymore that guy doesn't want you why would he go for you when he has all these other women at the top of the mountain he has he could pick those women why would he go for you that's the the logic that she's not she's not thinking logically she's still thinking with her emotions and her feelings and she feels like she's like i'm gonna get everything i want um even though i did all this shit, i'm still gonna get everything i want no you're going you're gonna get what you deserve i think she'll find a man eventually she'll find a man eventually um, but it's it's not going to be the man that she thinks she's supposed to be with. She's going to eventually realize that life is happening. Life has its own set of rules, and life you don't life doesn't play by your by your rules. You play by life's rules. You, you know what I'm saying? That's what. If you don't, if you whatever you do in your past affects your future, and it's affecting her future right now. And that's just the way it is, man. I mean, it's just the way it is, man. But y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think, man. Do y'all think she's tripping or do you think I'm tripping? Let me know in the comments, man. Like, this is my first time talking about her and I'm going to try my best not to talk about her. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Follow me on Instagram right here. Follow my other Instagram. Um, don't forget to get the electrolytes. I don't have a bottle right now, man, but I got this. I got the pre-workout bottle. The pre-workout is sold out, but um, this will be coming back soon. We got the electrolytes on there. I'll try to put a picture of it up here somewhere. Um, get the electrolytes and uh, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Appreciate y'all watching. Peace.